Oh my goodness. Oh my lord. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to a brand new video. It's your boy Sneakerhead in the Bay here and today we are doing a clothing slash sneaker haul. Now man, it's been a minute since I've done one of these. I originally started this based off of Timothy De La Ghetto's uh, show that he had on one of his YouTube channels called Tim's Bakery and that was basically where he would buy stuff from Karma Loop back in the day and he would just run down everything that he would get, you know, from brands also, from subscribers and all that good stuff. So I did that for a minute and I took a little break off of it because I haven't been going super hard with the personal purchases to be honest with you. I'm really just laying low and I'm just kind of watching what I spend but for this month I seen some deals and I saw some sneakers that I had to pick up so I figured you know what let's go ahead and make a video on this. Let's start off with the first pair of shoes that I picked up. We got a Nike Air Force One box right here, the typical gray Air Force One box but what do we have inside? Oh my receipt, my receipt. Ugh. Yeah! We got the Skeleton Air Force One Lows in the mix. You already know, baby. This is my first time taking a look at this sneaker right here, and I must say, man, this thing is beautiful. Now, if you guys have been watching my videos, you probably know that I have the black version as well as the white one. And when I seen these online, I was like, man, I gotta get these to complete the collection, and that orange is just hidden on this pair. Of course, I tried to get this when they came out, but obviously, y'all know how the sneakers app be doing, your boy. It's not looking good for me. I ended up paying resale, and I got these from StockX. I gotta say, whoever buys from StockX, their patience has to be on another level because I swear I bought these maybe like a month ago and they just arrived a couple days ago over here. So it took a minute to get here, but hey, they're finally here. They got the little verified tag on them and this whole piece right here, this whole midsole and outsole combination glows super hard and super crazy. I'm going to show you guys something. For those of you guys that don't know, sneakerhead hack right here. You see the little stock X tag? If you want to know if it's real, you get a black light. And you see how it has the X on it when I shine it? That's how you know it's officially from stock X, all right? There's a lot of fake tags going around, so invest in a little black light. I'll leave it down below in the description to an Amazon link that I bought it on. I think it's maybe like 10, 15 bucks. But you can also use this thing to charge your soles. Mm-hmm. You guys see that? That was the first sneaker I had to pick up. I think I spent about 220 bucks on it. But those are definitely shoes that I'm going to be wearing in my collection. And I've been really into the Air Forces lately, so I couldn't pass those up. Next up, let's go ahead and look at a piece of clothing that I got. Hmm, let's see. Which one should I do first? So I ended up getting this piece right here, which is the Paperboy official hoodie. As you guys can see, man, this thing looks beautiful. This thing is going to keep me very warm during the winter time and it has the embroidered Paperboy logo right there. If you guys don't know who Paperboy is, shout out to Paperboy. I'll leave his Instagram on the screen right here. You could go ahead and follow him. Super chill dude from the Bay Area. Met him a long, long time ago and he has a store out here called Dream Team SF. He was basically selling his merch and I ended up having this size 18 pair of Metallic 5s from a while back from one of the mystery boxes that I did and I was like yo man if you want these let's work something out so we just traded for his paper boy hoodie and I gotta say man this thing feels amazing it feels very high quality it's super thick if you guys have ever had a supreme hoodie before you probably have an idea of how this feels but this guy did not stop with the details man it has a paper boy tag on the inside I'm rocking the XL I recommend going true to size if you guys end up purchasing this. Let me throw it on real quick. Oh, look at that. Oh my God. That looks fire right there. So it has one embroidered patch on the chest and it also has the same embroidered logo right here on the sleeve. So yeah, I'm digging this hoodie and uh, shout out to my boy Paperboy. Since we're already on apparel, I'm gonna go to the next thing that I purchased right now. I was chilling with the homies and we ended up going to H&M, I believe. And I ended up seeing this nice puffer jacket. I've been really into puffer jackets lately because I've been waking up super early and going out for walks. Not gonna lie, in the morning it could get a little frosty out here. So I throw this thing on, keeps me warm, and I really like the tones on it i think it looks real nice it's like an olive i just get like the yeezy vibe with this just because of the tones but i thought it would look good if you just layer it with a nice little hoodie underneath something like that very simple uh puffy jacket vibes and of course on this one it has a nice logo on the chest it's a 3m logo it says some coordinates i don't know what the coordinates pertain to but i mean I think it looks good. I believe I have a little logo on the back somewhere. 
maybe over here i don't know but it's reflective so it's cool because it hits in the light sometimes and uh it just gives a little bit of spice to this nice little jacket Ooh! <laughs> and if you guys are interested in picking this one up i believe i got it for about like 35 bucks or 40 dollars after tax um the original retail price was like 70 but i did this like mail letter thing where they gave me 50% off or 40% off so yeah H&M nice little puffy jacket got me real hot right now so I'm gonna take this one off let's get back into the sneakers though what do we have in here Alex we have a size 10 ultra boost not gonna lie these were an impulse buy and I'm still deciding whether I use these or if I just flip them because when I got these I was like yo this is a pretty good price I believe for ultra boost let me see if the price tag is still on here price tag price tag mm, nah that does not have it but i do remember what i paid for these and i paid 80 doll hairs for these ultra boosts right here my homies over at the fix kicks do like this crazy hundred and under sale and i was looking through the sneakers and they had these joints just sitting there and i know that ultra boosts retail for pretty high i believe they're like 180 or 160 ish and when i saw these for 80 dollars i was like bro i'm just gonna scoop these either for the personal or to flip just because that's a pretty cheap price for ultra boost and these are the parley version so this is a collaboration has nice little uh embroidery or stitching right here on the heel different colorway than what i'm used to and the uppers the uppers are a bit different as well but 80 bucks for an ultra boost in my size i don't know i just i had to do it and speaking of ultra boost just real quick i'm not gonna go on a quick rant about this one but i did end up picking up another pair of ultra boost some ultra boost 4.0s that i saw my homie sneaker shouts tweet out and they were doing a really good deal on them i think they were selling them for like 110 or 120 for a brand new pair of ultra boost and i was like yo the ones that I'm wearing right now, super chopped. I brought them basically everywhere. They've lived on my feet for long enough and it's time to get rid of them. So the ones that I was originally wearing were 1.0s, I believe. And when I got the 4.0s, I was like, these new Ultra Boosts, they just feel different. They look a little funky on feet. It just, it doesn't have that same feeling as the first ones that came out. I don't know if it's just me, but I'm not tripping too hard. I just kind of noticed that there was a difference and it just, it felt weird. It felt really weird. I'm slowly starting to incorporate pieces from my subscribers into these videos. So if y'all have a clothing brand, you have something dope to share, just hit me up through Instagram DM at sneakerhead in the bay and I'll let you know where to send your stuff. So I got a little love letter right here. It says, Alex, first off, I would like to say thank you for the opportunity to send you a pair of my new shorts. Here are the New York inspired mesh basketball shorts that I designed for my brand. Any feedback or criticism is very appreciated. And this is from Throne.wa, Throne Washington. Shout out to Joe from Throne for sending these over. These are pretty sick, man. I haven't had a pair of split shorts like this before, so it's gonna be my first time wearing some split shorts. Got the blue, you got the orange, and we also have a double patch going on this one. So we got some embroidery saying Throne right here, and we have that same patch on the orange side as well. These are pretty sick, man. I went with a large. I haven't tried them on yet, but if you guys wanna check them out, subscriber to subscriber, showing support and love for each other, then go ahead and check the homies brand out. Thanks again, Joe, for sending these over. I will definitely be wearing these and enjoying them when summer comes around. Next up, let's talk about super steals and deals for today. Yes, we have a Jordan 1 box here, and one of my homies hit me up saying he was selling these for $75, and I didn't even get the pictures, but I assumed that they were gonna be super beat, but when he sent me them, I was like, whoa, wow. Oh my goodness. We got Shadow Ones, baby. And yes, for $75, not for $175, $75. So true homie hookup on these. They are definitely worn. Like they're not the most perfect sneakers, but for $75, can you really pass on these? So on these, he threw the replacement laces on them, but he also has the original laces in the shoe box. He did wear these a bunch of times, so you see a lot of creasing all over the tops. But honestly, with Jordan 1s, I feel like they look so much better creased. Like, you just gotta, you gotta get them all worn, you know what I'm saying? Like, they gotta get all crinkly. You don't want a Jordan 1 to be pristine and creaseless. But yeah, look at these things, bro. <laughs> I still can't believe it. If you're watching this, 
Thank you, man. I appreciate it because I ended up buying a pair off of round two a few months back when I was in LA and I got them for like 350 375 or something and they're in way better condition than this but since these are my size I might as well just end up rocking these for a minute because for 75 bucks you can't go wrong with the shadow one colorway and that's honestly like the homie hookup so you guys let me know what you think about this one if you had a chance to buy these for 75 bucks would you cop or would you pass drop a comment down below I'm excited to read your comments and see what you guys think about this one right here I couldn't pass this one up though so that's why we want the cop okay we're back into the clothing pieces now and as I told you guys I'm into the puffers right now so when I was at like forever 21 I believe I saw this hanging on the rack at the mall and I was just like bro this thing is low-key lit I wasn't sure if it was a girl's jacket or if it was a dude's jacket but I ended up trying it on anyways and I was like it's kind of fire unfortunately the one that I tried on wasn't my size but this one is so I found this on sale on forever21.com and the last size that was available was my size so I was like bro it was calling my name so I had to do it puffer jacket season with the paisley in that camera on pink damn Ooh sauce and i was thinking about pairing this one with a pair of travis ones with the pink laces in them i think it would be beautiful definitely an interesting color to rock i feel like if they had this in black and white that would be mad fire but honestly it's a very nice jacket it keeps me very warm i'm already warm just putting it on and moving around and i believe this one was only like 30 or 40 dollars something around there it wasn't crazy it's not breaking the bank or anything but yeah it feels real nice and I'm happy with it, bro. I don't care what y'all say. This pink, woo! But let me know if you guys enjoy these little clothing hauls. I definitely don't want to get caught up in the cycle of just like me buying a bunch of random stuff to do these videos. But if I do have certain weeks where I just splurge on a couple things here and there and I save it up and just make one video for you guys, I'm totally down for that. But y'all have to let me know by hitting the like button and commenting down below if you guys enjoy these videos. Because I used to do these very often. I want to say almost every week when I was in college. So if y'all want them back, let me know. The last package that we have here is this huge orange Nike box. I barely hit on anything on my sneakers app and for some reason they sent me a notification saying that there was like a random uh, restock I believe of these and I had like some early access to it. So I went ahead checked it out and it was for a pair of all black fear of gods. <laughs> I never get anything so it was almost just like a uh, I would say this one was an impulse buy but this was more for my website and just me trying to get stuff to flip for my website so um, this one was more of like a business purchase, but I thought I'd show it to you guys anyway. So here we go. It looks like it comes with some sort of bag or something. I'm not too familiar with these. So let's check it out together. It says air fear of God right here on this bag. This is a nice bag. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. All right. There must be some laces in here or something. Let's see if we can pop this thing open. We got some lace locks, but these look very delicious. Very interesting. Let me see what else we got in here. Oh, oh, this is kind of fire. This feels like, feels like glass or something. Maybe a plastic, but it's a nice touch to it. Like a hang tag. I believe that's it. There's a few, um, few little lace locks in here. This presentation is pretty interesting. And here they are, the Triple Black Fear of Gods. This is my first time seeing them in person, like I said. I haven't had a pair of these before, I just don't think I could rock them, but they do come with these extra laces right here. And I must say, the quality of the uppers feels very nice. It feels very high quality. This is an extremely expensive sneaker when we talk about the retail of it. I believe I paid maybe 400 something dollars for these. And these are a size 12, so it's a pretty big size, but I saw that they're reselling for about 500 There's about a $100 profit in this. I was like, you know what? Why not? If I have access to it, might as well pick it up, see if I actually do end up getting it, and I did. So we have the triple black fear of God. So if you guys are interested in these or in any sneakers in general, you could go ahead and check out my website at shopsoltopia.com. Right now to the end of December, I'm running 20% off of all of my custom goods. So if you guys see anything you like from beanies, 
bracelets, watch bands, phone cases, etc, etc. Now would be the time to purchase before I get flooded for holiday orders. So if you're getting it as a gift and you order within the first two weeks of December, you'll be guaranteed to get whatever you purchase. But after that, I can definitely try to get the orders to you, but I can't guarantee that everything is going to go smooth. It all depends on the traffic on my website and how many orders I end up getting. So definitely keep that in mind. Shopsotopia.com once again, and I want to thank you guys for watching this video. I know it's super quick. I didn't have too many pieces but again I just wanted to bring this back and talk to you guys a little bit because I haven't shown my face for a little on this channel so what's up your boys doing well we're just working super swamped out here but I'm glad to be back for you guys I'll catch y'all very soon for the next video it's your boy sneakerhead in the bay see you guys next time I'm out peace blueberry burberry button up tan skin mixed race buttercup Canada weather got a bundle up I'm trying to worry she hit my phone she wanna whoa